Okay, welcome to the Rise of Civilization, and this is the first of many narrated PowerPoint projects that you're going to see. So this one has to do with your research paper or project or service learning um, situation if you choose to do that. So in this class, what's required of you? You're going to have a midterm, you're, you're going to have a final, you're going to have to do weekly assignments. And I'm not sure why this picture went where it is, but basically you do have an option if you don't want to do a research paper of doing a service learning project. So if you're not familiar with educational lingo, of course, service learning project means volunteering. So you have the option of volunteering at an Alaska Native agency. You'll need to do at least eight hours. More is great, but eight hours is a lot. And then you'll have to have your hours verified for me on agency letterhead by someone in that organization. Now, this is service learning that has to be done this semester. Um, if you did it during the summer, sorry. Um, but there's a lot of places you can do it and we're going to talk about that in a few minutes. So when you are done with your service learning, at the end of the semester, what's required of you is either a PowerPoint or a paper that covers these particular topic areas. So what was the name of the organization? Where is it located? What's the mission? How does it fit into anthropology? What are its goals? Why did you pick this project? Meaning, why did you pick that agency? And here's some other stuff you can just read through this on your own. What did you learn about Alaska Natives? Um, the other thing is, I want even a little bit more information. What was your typical day like? Some people go back multiple times. Some people do it all in a day. What kinds of stereotypes did you have before your volunteer experience? How does it impact the larger community? And in what ways has this experience contributed to your understanding of Alaska Natives? So here are some um, agencies from the Anchorage area. You have Cook Inlet Tribal Council. You have the Alaska Native Medical Center, South Central Foundation, the Pathways Home, Rural CAP, the Alaska Native Heritage Center. If you live in the Anchorage area, the Alaska Federation of Natives is always, I believe it's the last weekend in October. So you can volunteer for that. Um, with all of these, I will give you warning that you do need to contact them fairly early on because some of them require you go through a training. Some of them take a while to get back. Um, so you have to be persistent, and I would start now if that's what you want to do. The other thing is that with a lot of them, um, they don't want you to take pictures of the clients. That's okay. Um, if you're working with Alaska Native elders, um, you don't need their particular individual pictures. You can get pictures from online. Some places they will let you take their pictures, so it just depends. And if you're not in the Anchorage area, again, there are agencies throughout the state. So service learning is one option you have. If you don't want to do service learning, you can do a regular research um, paper. This is 8 to 10 pages, including a bibliography. And um, with any of these, what I ask is, is that you get it pre-approved by me first. So even with the service learning. So here are just tons of examples of things that you can do your um, paper on. Um, Again, if you have any questions on any of these, but there, there are many more as we go through the semester. A lot of times students have no idea. Like if you look at the role of disease, the third one, um, there's a book out called Chills and Fevers that looked at the history of disease in Alaska. It's not specific to Alaska Natives, but a lot, a lot of it does have to do with Alaska Natives. Um, Further on down, the one that says M-I-N-I-I-L-A-Q, that 
actually it should be Manilic with an A after the M. So that is another um, topic. He, he was a, a prophet, considered an Eskimo prophet. So again, um, just run it by me and you should be good to go if something catches your interest during the course of the semester. Now, if you don't want to do a, a service learning project or research paper, I have had students do art projects if you're artistically inclined. Now, the, the catch with these, there's a couple of them. One is it has to be kind of college level. I don't want something that looks like a grammar school person did it. So here you have a, um, this is a button blanket that someone did just with felt. And, and as you can see, it's of a raven. It came out really well. Uh, these are all uh, things that I have in my house now that students either gave me. I do have the option of buying them um, if you don't want to donate them at the end of the semester. A lot of times students do put their own money into it. So you can set a price, and it's up to me to decide if I want to buy it or not. Um, and I'll show you a couple of others. Um, people have done cuss books. People have done a lot of painted drums. This one is, is really cute. Um, this one was done in the 1990s and it's falling apart. But this is a replica of a Yupik mask that a student did. And it was supposed to be the story of a wolf. Um, but as you can see, it looks like Scooby-Doo. But I think it's really cute, so I kept it. Here is a replica of Shem Pete's necklace. If you have the chance or go to the Heritage Center, um, it's actually made out of shells, but this person made it out of plastic beads and it works really well. Shem Pete was an uh, Athabascan elder. Here's another Yupik mask that someone made. This is paper mache and the hands are actually made out of wood and then painted. This was a stained glass piece of a killer whale. You can see where a piece, couple of pieces of the glass fell out. Um, you know, that's happened over the years, but, but it was a good piece and um, student did a really good job on it. This is uh, one of my favorites. This is a, a fairly large art project that someone did and um, it's obviously of a moose with an alleyed hunting hat. So the sky's the limit, run it by me. People have done beading projects um, and usually the art projects take longer than the research papers. Other students have done lesson plans if they were teachers, um, have some made movies. So um, if you think of something that's original, just run it by me and we'll see how it goes. So that is required of you for the semester. And if you have any questions, let me know.